How many of you have heard of the body burden study? This was a study to look at the amount of toxic chemicals in people's bodies. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis. I want to talk about chemical toxicity today. Chemical toxicity is a major, major problem. There are now 75,000 chemicals in commercial use and 2,000 new ones are added every year. They have the power to do great harm to our bodies and no one is studying them. There are a few studies out, but very little work is being done. Certainly nothing's being done by industry. They're not required to report to the EPA. They're not required to report to the government or any other agencies. And most of their uh, applications get approved in a very short period of time for the new chemical that they want to use industrially. Uh, the primary toxins, there's large groups of toxins. So they studied nine men in this study, the, the study conducted by the Environmental Working Group, and they found that they had 167 chemicals in their blood and urine. 76 of them were cancer-causing. That's a very serious number. Uh, other chemicals affect the uh, organs, the liver, the kidney, the immune system, the brain nervous system, development of IQ, they're particularly toxic and harmful in newborns and in children, and they're accumulating in them at a rapid rate. There is something you can do about it. You can pay attention to the function of your body so that you can help it eliminate these toxic chemicals. Most of these chemicals are gathered up by the liver. It has a complement of 30 enzymes in it that detox and change these chemicals into a form that can be eliminated from the body. Now, these chemicals are acting synergistically. They're acting together. We just simply don't have any information on the implications of what happens when three or four or five or 200 chemicals are acting at the same time. There have been some limited tests done with a single chemical, but almost nothing when multiple chemicals are acting at the same time. And that's when the hazards really grow. It really becomes problematic. The other issue is the dose of the chemical. And the chemical companies are arguing that the low doses of chemicals that we're exposed to are perfectly safe. Well, there's plenty of research that said that that's not true. Low dose chemical toxicity can cause a lot of health hazards, it can increase things like asthma, cancer, mental, emotional diseases, you name it. These chemicals are responsible for a tremendous bunch of problems in human health. And they're really bad news. And the exposure to them is, is absolutely great. We just don't know anything about them. So what I've done to help with this problem is, is I've built for you a homeopathic drainage protocol. Now, homeopathic remedies are energetic remedies, and they're in the world of energy medicine. And I'm going to put this up on the site this week, and you'll see I have four different protocols to use three bottles of homeopathic remedies to help drainage. Now, drainage means stimulating the body to get rid of the things that it makes and the things that it's exposed to from the outside. And it's important to strengthen yourself so your body can eliminate these things and protect itself. Now, genetics are involved in less than 5 to 10 percent of the damage caused. So the environment itself is a primary determinant of the kind of dangerous effects you're going to have from exposure to these different chemicals that are being used in detergents and plastic bottles and all kinds of things that we use every single day and we're getting exposed to them. Hardly anyone's talking about this. That's the important point. I know a lot of people are talking about their nutritional supplements and their diets, but they're not talking about the hazards of the exposure to these chemicals. Now, relative to diet, we know that a low carbohydrate diet will improve the liver's capability to detox by about 100% we know that a high carbohydrate diet will decrease the liver's ability to detoxify by 200%. So a low carbohydrate diet that's reasonably moderate and protein is very important for liver function. Liver function is really the key because that's the primary organ. So these chemicals gather up in all the cells of your body. 
and they poison the enzyme systems in there, uh, which are the, the key to the function of that cell's life. Enzymes make chemical processes go on, they break down the food, they help use food, they get rid of waste products. Therefore, you want to get these toxins out of the body. Now, generally the way this works is as the toxins accumulate in the cells, and most chemical toxins are soluble in fat, but the body will try to get rid of this. So all you're going to do with a homeopathic drainage protocol is stimulate the body to do this more effectively. So the chemicals will, will run down a concentration gradient. So when the liver has had enough time to clear the toxins from the blood, and the blood levels drop, that will allow more toxins to come out of the cells to be transported to the liver, where they can be eliminated, where they can be detoxed. And the primary enzyme in there is called the cytochrome P450, and that's the key first step in the breakdown of what we call xenobiotics. That's the official name for all these different toxins. So you want to be really aware of what you're getting exposed to. You want to be proactive in getting rid of these things and reducing your exposure to them, reducing your contact with them as, you, as much as you can. I've got a, uh, on the site that I'm going to post up this week in the uh, homeopathic drainage protocol, I'll have some writings about what is drainage, what is energy medicine, uh, also the protocol itself. And I'm actually putting up a nine-page paper on the body burden study, so you can read the details of these things that I've been talking about, because it can be <laughs> really scary what we're being exposed to and how little is being done to help us in this fight against these chemical toxins. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.